Getting the best sound out of a small room can be a tricky endeavor, but in a small room, we're limited into how much treatment we can physically fit into the room. Just like in a large studio, you'll want to focus treatment in all the familiar areas, first reflections, corners, and in the back and front wall. We almost always refer to sound waves by their frequency, or the number of full cycles per second the wave completes. The smaller the room is, the shorter the wavelength is for the room modes. In a large enough room, the room modes are below the audible range, but as we shrink the room, those room modes are pushed into the audible range and start to become a problem. In a small room, you'll probably get the best results with your speakers close to the front wall and your listening position about roughly one-third of the way from that wall. We want to make sure that our listening position isn't at the null in the center of the room and that our speakers aren't in a location that creates a lot of SBIR issues. With a lack of space for treatment, you'll want to utilize ceiling space, especially by treating the first reflections on your ceiling. Treating the horizontal corners that outline the floor and ceiling can also help mitigate bass issues. But you'll start to see improvements as soon as you place your first few bass traps. If you'd like a detailed breakdown for how to treat your room, Fill out our free acoustic advice form and one of our designers will fill you in with tailored advice specific to your room.